my the mouth. Bloody series. So, Why is there always blood in my series? <laughs> the bloody series. Yeah. All right, so you've been on a tear recently. How, at this point, how, how would you assess your, your wrestling? Um, it's great when I actually wrestle, and then if I don't, it's not so good. So, yeah. yeah. What does it feel like to make a world team at 65 in the past minute, 63, 62? Yeah, my third weight class, making a world team. Um, I'm really excited. It makes like a freshness to it to wrestle new people that I haven't wrestled before and it makes it more exciting so I'm excited to represent the U.S. at 65 this year. Not only represent but what does it mean to, to kind of take out Forrest? I mean me and Forrest point? have a long series of wrestling each other. She's a really challenging opponent for me. I struggle domestically um, not just with Forrest, Forrest, Emma, all of them so honestly to make it out of that gauntlet I just am proud and relieved and um, ready to soak that in. Honestly I think the world might be a little easier than getting through <laughs> to make this team. So throughout, the year was, throughout the series, you got her in cradles. Um, is that something that you saw that she was vulnerable to, or just the situation presented? Itself? Yeah, I, I kind of feel like she put me into it. I'm not a cradler, you know, with these long arms. Yeah. It's not um, really in my wheelhouse. So that's something I can definitely go back to the drawing board and work on finishing. And um, But yeah, no, that was a surprise, the cradles. Second match was a battle. Match three ended it quick. Was that the plan or just something you, you felt came together in the match? Um, no, not a plan, but my plan was to just wrestle how I wrestle and it just opened up, you know, if I can just stop myself from thinking, I can wrestle pretty great. So that's kind of where I was at. Wasn't really thinking about it. Um, yeah, it just opened up. What did you feel in, in match three that was different than the other ones? Um, I like to have like a challenge, so to come back after a loss is exciting for me, so that challenge was there. Um, in terms of like stylistically or anything, there was no difference, it was just me being excited to wrestle and challenged. Speaking of excitement, when, 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 you, when you kind of have an injury like that and you're bleeding, how, how does that impact kind of your adrenaline? Uh, it's challenging to have a you know match that stops every 20, 30 yeah. seconds. Um, definitely for momentum and just getting things going. So that was a challenge. But in 2018, when I won my World Bronze, that was my first ever nosebleed, and I nosebled all through the tournament. So I thought it was also a good luck sign. That was your first ever. You've never, you've never had a bloody nose before. Not until the 2018 Worlds. Huh. <laughs> So yeah. going into the summer, uh, what does that look like for you for, uh, with training, with competition? I'm going to take the chunk of June off now. I am exhausted and getting older, so um, I can't really race through like I used to. But um, once I feel recovered, uh, training at my speed, uh, training in a maybe more creative way now. So I'm excited for that. Talk a little bit about Beaver Dam, RTC, coaches there. What, what sets that apart from other places maybe you've trained or have been a part of in the past? Um, well, it's, the thing that's constant with places I choose to train is I always want someone that I can trust. And so having Nate Angle there, someone who I can really trust day in and day out um, and love as a person, that's the difference maker for me. I, I have to be at a place where I really, really trust the coaches and have that relationship there um, where I can come in on my good days, come in on my bad days, and I'm still loved and accepted uh, no matter what. <laughs> What was the message from the coaching staff in between uh, match two and three? Um, my coach, Cleo, who's been with me for a long time, was just like, there's a lot of noise, you know how to wrestle, so there wasn't much coaching, to be honest. They wanted to eliminate a lot of that noise and excessive thinking and just let me be myself. So there wasn't much feedback from that. Thank you, guys. Congratulations.